I'm very famous. You're here on a good week. Just. <laughs> I couldn't even say that without. I'm basement in Ann Arbor famous. I, uh... I lived in Ann. I, I lived in L.A. for a long time, and I did uh, every shitty TV show you've never heard of. Did you know the Weather Channel has original programming? <laughs> I was on a show called Tornado Alley, which was reenactments of people who survived tornadoes. I pretend rescued my pretend neighbor from a pretend tornado. His plan was to hang out in the closet with his family and just read the Bible and wait it out. So while you may not know who I am, your grandparents would be like, holy shit, it's the fat angel from the TV. I've been on every single investigation discovery crime reenactment show. So your wife has probably seen me as a landlord letting the police in. (laughs) I think if you marathon ID too much, you might start to go, I think it's the landlord. He's on every fucking show. They still make music videos. I found that out out there. I, uh, I was in an Ed Sheeran video, and uh, I played a, a white guy. And uh, <laughs> the director was horrible. He was Ed Sheeran's best friend, and he was super abusive, total dick. And in the video, I play a guy. Uh, I have a Latino wife and two Latino kids, and a guy break dances through our uh, living room. And uh, it's fucking nonsense. It's... <laughs> The video for the song, Don't. My sister-in-law watched it 13 times. It was like, oh, you are in that. Oh, you never even noticed. So the kid playing my son couldn't get it right. Like, there was product placement. He had to grab these headphones where he could see the headphones. And the director just started yelling at everyone. Super abusive. So to break the tension, I said to the Latino woman playing my wife, listen, I'm not accusing you of anything, but these fucking kids don't look a goddamn thing like me. (laughs) And she went, oh, no, I think they're actors. (laughs) Really? Oh. So we've never done it. That's a shame. (laughs) Acting is so stupid. It is the dumbest thing in the world. Harrison Ford's my favorite actor. I can't wait to see Indiana Jones on Sunday. But look, who's just as good in Raiders of the Lost Ark as Harrison Ford? The fucking little Nazi monkey. (laughs) Because he's like, oh, and you're like, oh, he's so cute. And then he's like, ah, and you're like, fuck that monkey. <laughs> and then he eats that bad date, and you're like, oh, fucking monkey. <laughs> you heard the guy woot earlier for Nazis. <laughs> that there. I feel like whoever that one it was like, yeah, that monkey was the hero of that story. <laughs> Of all the acting I did, this is the thing I'm most proud of. And I, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say what it was. It, it was a TV commercial, and I'm probably not allowed to say the product, but it was an energy drink that lasts longer than four hours, but <laughs> <laughs> hair shy of six. <laughs> you look like you were struggling with that one. Just a little bit. You're with him because he's handsome, not because he's good at math, right? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had five-hour energy drink? Clearly not tonight, but like in your lifetime, have you? It's a horribly named product. Very misleading. They ought to rename it one-hour heart palpitations. Four hours of weird aftertaste like you blew the Kool-Aid man. Like, ah! Mixed berries and semen? Did you come in my mouth? Oh, yeah! kept my new year's resolution clearly not to get in shape but um it was to stop masturbating while i drive (laughs) i know it doesn't sound like a big i drive a lot i've been a road comic for over 20 years and by applause but anyone here masturbate while they drive at all (laughs) who said woo So a woman. Yeah, it's always a woman. Like, it's never... 
It was a guy one time, but like normally, so which makes sense. Like if you're changing lanes and you're like, oh, I got two locked and loaded, might as well root around a little bit. A woman explained it to me one time. She's like, no, asshole, rumble strips. I was like, oh. <laughs> like parent-teacher conferences. <laughs> the last show I did was in Ludington, and when I said anyone masturbate while they drive, this guy in the second row stands up and starts slow clapping himself. <laughs> I was like, what do you do for a living so I know where to avoid? He's like, I own the local ice cream parlor. I don't have a joke for that. I just also wanted to make you uncomfortable and warn you to never eat ice cream in Ludington, Michigan. At least not the vanilla bean. Just... Or the semen flavor. That's... It gets very boring when you do... And I'll tell you, first of all, who's happiest about that resolution? My Lyft and Uber passengers. <laughs> Five stars all the time. I didn't want to do it, but any show you do west of Michigan, you have to drive 94 on the way back. And every time, long about, like, Marshall, I would get very sleepy. And I told another comedian this, and he was like, oh... This is knuckle one out on the ride. And I was like, oh, that's gross. We can't be friends anymore. <laughs> but I was coming back from Appleton, Wisconsin, and I was feeling a little drowsy, and I had Burger King napkins, and I was like, well... <laughs> Here was the thing. I didn't know what to do with the napkins when I was done with it. Like, I, I'm from Michigan. I'm always getting over a cold or dealing with allergies. I didn't want to drive one day and be like... Oh, let me grab that. Ah, no, crunchy. <laughs> and I had this irrational paranoia that if I threw it out the window, it would land next to a dead body in a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, right? And I'd play myself on the reenactment show. <laughs> you know. The police would be like, oh my God, there's no evidence and she's naked. Oh, well, what's this? Burger King napkin. <laughs> Mixed berries and semen. <laughs> I think we found our guy. <laughs>